Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all three camos from the get higher mode very, very easily. It's going to be dummy proof. Also, the solo method, which includes glitches and exploits and just strategies on how to get the mark of the survivor camo from zombies. If this video gets 315 likes, I'll try to find an instant unlock for these three new camos from the get higher mode. Also, the winner for the giveaway was this person. If you guys want to win next for the instant nuke skin, any bundle or any camo, to enter, just drop a sub. With post notifications and drop a comment down below so the three challenges are completing the course itself completing it under 10 minutes and then getting all 12 tokens in one single thing and then completing it so i'm like i said before it's going to be dummy proof so everyone will be able to do this so let's get straight into it there's no full-on glitch for this but i guarantee you guys 100 you guys will unlock all three camos using this if you guys want a slower version for this because i'm going to speed run it then i'll have the link to that down below as well with this tutorial you guys guys will get all three camels in one game so follow exactly where we go use the right hand side i think it's just easier for everyone all you have to do is just jump and then slide over here and then yeah just follow exactly where we go and on this one it's not that tricky just aim for the middle and you guys will be good to go now from here we're going to be collecting the coins as well so follow exactly where i go make sure you guys don't get hit here hit here sorry crouch down into this little area right here grab this coin and then go to the right on this exit don't go through the pink portal thing so up we go from here uh once again just follow exactly where i go and this time we're going to be using the right hand side right here so stay on the right so we're going to go through like this very simple very straightforward just make sure you guys don't get squished and then grab the coin from this left hand side just grab it quickly and go out of there is it looking to get hard unlocks for the new modern warfare 3 mastery camels like interstellar and borealis or even the new event camels bot lobbies and instant delivery on your guys's nuke skin and all that good stuff then make sure you guys go check out mitch cactus their links will be down below they have a five star on trust pilot and make sure you guys use code bubs now look up ahead and see which one is down at the perfect time and go on that one. Otherwise, you guys will get crushed. Now, all you want to do is just jump over here, jump here, and then slide through two of these. Now, this one as well, you guys just got to time it. Just make sure you guys time it properly. Even sometimes I mess up as well. These first few are pretty simple, straightforward. There's no tricks, but shortly I'll show you guys some shortcuts that you guys should take advantage of. Like I said before, if I'm going too fast, I'll have a tutorial down below where I'm just doing it pretty much very, very slow if this is too fast for you guys. So once you guys get here, all you want to do is collect this coin on the left hand side as well. And no trick here either, just to make sure you guys time it perfectly. If you guys are not too confident, like you guys can see right here, I hold my jump just in case. It's better to stay patient than to miss it completely and then start at the checkpoint again. So once again, just stay patient but don't be too slow either so right here just all you have to do is prone down get your ass back up jump over this thing once again stay patient here crouching down this one's actually very very easy so from here i use the right hand side i recommend the same thing doesn't really matter but just forward jumping very very simple once again right here just make sure you guys time it so time the one that just got down. When the one you're standing on goes up, just jump on to the next one from here. You guys can go through, but I'm just being safe right here. And then right here, you guys want to time it again. There's a pattern here. So the one that goes off in front of you, the fourth one goes off. So you guys should be good to just run straight through like you guys can see us do. So this one, you guys just want to run the opposite way where the pattern is going very easy as well and then from here once again just jumping this is the easy stuff from this checkpoint most people will just go straight forward and most of you guys will fall off but use this shortcut right here so you guys want to jump up here jump on the middle and when it stops press circle and it will let you guys go and once again you guys have to jump up in the middle of these panels then when you guys press circle to just drop off it drops you right onto these little pillar things and then you guys can jump up like this again from here just jump up jump up and now you guys just want to go straight forward right here these this is the easy stuff just jump over jump over jump again and then make sure you guys collect this coin right here on the edge and then use from here sorry go up top so jump on the top one and then just follow exactly where we go there's gonna be a few more shortcuts so right here you guys want to jump up on this little block so jump up jump up to the right on this one and then jump up to the left and just go straight forward from here and drop down and then you guys want to jump through this thing to get the next coin 
So once you guys got this one, you guys want to jump back over here and then use this shortcut that I always use. It's way faster than the other way. So jump up here, jump up here, jump up from here, go straight forward, jump on this next panel. And that was the fastest way to do that one. So that's a very good shortcut. Now these next ones, uh, once again, there's no shortcut for this one. You just got to go straight through the uh, course pretty much and just follow exactly how I do it. There is a few more shortcuts coming up. For this one, just time the square that just landed like this and just go straight forward. And from here, you guys wanna go up top and then jump straight through. Don't go from the bottom, sometimes it does kick you off. And there's a coin right there in the middle, so just wait until that lines up. And from here, you guys wanna crouch down into this little area. And the next coin is gonna be right here. So once you guys grab that, just go through the portal. Here's another shortcut. So this saves a lot of time as well. So land on this wing catch your breath so you guys can make a big jump and then you guys want to jump right here and then you guys should catch this ledge from here just follow exactly where we go and this one's very straightforward as well just wait until that thing goes over and then wait on the side just wait on the side let it let that thing go again and just wait on the side now you guys can go straight through this is a shortcut right here you guys want to go straight go to the right and jump up on this thing and then jump up this saves a little bit of time as well and then you guys just want to time this one again so whatever side it is uh, not on you guys want to stay on that side and collect that coin that was just in the middle by jumping through otherwise you guys will fall if you don't jump and grab that coin now through this plane right here you guys want to line up and then jump up on this wing and then go through to the ladder now you guys want to drop down from here and then you guys want to jump through to this thing and then grab this coin right here now you guys have the ninth coin and you guys this is also a shortcut you guys can go straight forward like this and just go through this one very simple just jump slide or whatever you guys have to do depending on what you get jump on the middle part and go straight forward and wait until the line lines up and then you guys want to slide through exactly like this now just follow us again and just make sure you guys don't get pushed off here now this next one if you wanted to i was on my other test just staying in the middle and just walking through right here i was running but you guys can legit stay on the middle of that panel and just walk through and trust me it does work and from here you guys want to jump up on these panels and just wait until the next one appears there's a total of five that will appear to get to the top now for this next step i'm gonna slow it down for this one you want to stay in the middle of the two panels and then run so just keep running and right here you guys want to slow down just a little bit start walking start running again when you guys see that next door up here and once again stay in the middle of the two panels and from here start running and then eventually when you guys get too close to the uh, first one you guys want to slow down and then you guys can run again when you guys are thinking you guys are in the middle of the two panels and then from here you guys want to just let that panel go through and then you guys want to jump up on this block crouch down and go through here grab the coin and go through the portal this one's very straightforward as well you guys want to jump up and then aim so you guys can pretty much aim up like that and then you guys want to jump up aim and then shoot that thing so it takes you guys forward and this one just like the first one jump and then aim when you guys get to the other side you guys can press circle or b to drop down to this thing and then from here you guys want to look at this ladder go through it climb up and then go all the way to this right one right here use the same way i do go straight forward go straight forward when you guys get right here you guys want to jump up to this right side and you guys can uh, ledge onto it and then jump up again. And then you guys want to collect this coin right here on this side. And right here, I do mess up on this one. This one, I don't know why. I kind of found it tricky. There is a little way of doing it. You guys will see that I do mess up here a little bit. But when I do get it right, I'll show you guys the way I do get it right and how I actually do it. So I think I mess up here one more time. I'm not going to, you know, skip through it. But you guys can see I actually died about two or three times during this course. The correct way of doing it is jumping on the left first panel. And then when these two connect right here, you guys want to jump up on this one. Jump up on the left panel again and then the far left one and you guys should be good to go. Now, you guys want to jump up on this square, the right hand side, and then jump up on this one. And it's gonna push you guys up and you guys can go to the next one now this one I'm gonna slow down a little bit so pretty much you want to run in the opposite direction of where that pattern is going and it switches each time when you guys go to the next like rectangle or whatever you guys want to call this this little block thing and then same thing right here again so run in the opposite direction where that pattern is going and you guys should be good to go it alternates each time from here let this square pop up and follow this line right here the green one and just follow exactly where I go, very simple, and then jump straight through to these blue squares. And now you guys wanna time this one again, just wait until it goes up, jump forward. And now you guys wanna crouch down on this pillar right here to grab the last coin. So you guys wanna go through this little secret door, grab the coin, and you guys can go back up. 
and it's gonna push you guys back up right here and you guys can just jump up to the next ones and just keep spam jumping that's what i was doing and it got me through and there you guys go you guys completed the course which is camo number one you guys completed the course in under 10 minutes which is camo number two and then you guys also collected all 12 tokens and finished the course which is camo number three all three camos done in one game and this method is dummy proof i showed you guys exactly how to do it and how to take advantage of each shortcut and how you guys won't mess up on each shortcut if you guys followed exactly what i told you guys Drop a like if you guys want me to try to find a way to pretty much instantly unlock these three camos from this game mode. If this was too fast for you guys, I will have a slower tutorial down below. I'm not going to commentate over it, but it's going to be slower so you guys know exactly where to go to get all three camos in one game. But that version is just going to be slower. It's not going to be done under 10 minutes, but it's going to be slower so everyone can understand just in case this confused you guys just a tad bit. So I made a glitch video for the Mark of the Survivor camo that was a co-op one. So if you guys are still going to do a co-op, I'll have the link to that video in the top right right now or the description down below. But I'm going to show you guys a solo way which includes glitches, methods and strategies which you guys can do completely solo. If you're not too confident, you guys will be able to do the first try solo then do these tombstone glitch just in case you guys then have the items for the next match to try again. So have these stuff in your backpack that you guys want to duplicate just in case you guys do mess up and then you guys want to shoot those three things uh, like you guys saw us do to open up that portal. Uh, go over to this portal right here, activate it and then go back to the other portal that you guys just activated. Like I said before, just make sure you guys have these stuff in your guys' backpack that you guys want to duplicate just in case you guys fail the first time. And make sure you guys also have Tombstone equipped each time you guys do this dupe glitch. You guys want to go through the portal like this, follow exactly where we go to this left hand side and just wait on the edge of the map thing. And when it hits 6, so it hits 6 on the screen as you guys will see, so it's counting down right now eight seven six so when it hits six you guys want to go out of the map and pretty much just just wait here just a little bit and i'll tell you guys when to close your application on the screen right here close your application so that's what we did and then you guys can load up back into the game go over to your backpack and all those things are duplicated so you guys can store this stuff if you guys wanted to and then the next match when you guys load in you guys can go over to your guys's tombstone grab all these stuff and those other items are already in your guys' backpack so you guys don't have to worry about losing anything at all so just go over to your tombstone make sure that crumbles fully so make sure you guys destroy it fully and then pretty much just grab all the items out and then you guys can start uh, pretty much going into the rift what you need to do is find those three locations to get into the rift Here's all these spawns, so find three of them. There's no glitch to bypass this part, but when you guys go into the rift, I'll show you guys a very easy strategy and also a exploit for the bosses to instantly kill them. And you won't have to kill a single zombie in there. When you find one, on the bottom, there's going to be a symbol for a ammo mod and you have to have that on your weapon to activate it. And when it activates, you guys want to get kills on zombies inside the circle and it's going to collect souls. Once it's done, it's going to give you guys rewards and you guys have to do that on three of them. When you guys are done with three of them, there's going to be a rift spawned in and you guys got to quickly go over there before someone takes it from you. So use a scorcher, fly over there very quickly and then activate it. And then you guys can all go in as a team or if you're doing it solo, you guys can go in alone. And then when you guys get in, here's where the strategy starts. It's also really good in this strategy to have a bunch of juggernauts, about four and about like five self revives. So what I recommend doing is doing a bunch of contracts in the tier two zone. Just do the delivery cargo ones. Those are very easy. And every time you guys will get rewards, most likely they're going to be self revives, a lot of money where you guys can buy jugs as well and also some jugs in the rewards as well. So for this, you guys will of course need the Scorcher and also the RGL Launcher with the Deadwire Detonator activated as well. So once you guys have that with the Scorcher, all you guys want to do is each wave, just keep flying up as you guys can see us do and just boost three times and then pull out your parachute, let it uh, pretty much regen the health of the Scorcher and then use it again when it's fully charged up. And this way you guys can stay in the air the entire time. This is time based so when the boss zombie does spawn in, you guys can throw your jug, you guys can throw like a decoy or pretty much it's really easy with a juggernaut so you guys can throw that activate it and then mow down the boss or with the rgl uh, deadwire uh, detonator 
for the field upgrade make sure you guys have the energy mine you guys will activate that on the boss as well which helps a shit ton but this way you guys don't have to kill a single zombie at all you guys just fly up in the air and each wave is gonna have a boss at the end you guys can kill them exactly the way i told you guys and then on the fifth the boss this one is a little tricky and this with the rgl dead wire detonator it is kind of glitched out you guys can pretty much sometimes instantly kill the boss zombie in the fifth wave and that one is the hardest as you guys can see or you guys can also use the jug method throw a jug and then uh go into the jug and just mow him down as well but the rgl dead wire detonator is glitched out on the final boss and pretty much it kills it instantly otherwise uh, when you guys are shooting it normally it will pretty much deploy him uh, sorry deploy its minions and then you guys have to kill those first and then go back and then by the time you guys go back uh, the boss's uh, health is regen this way with the rgl dead wire detonator you guys can kill it really really fast and that's why i say instantly also it's really good to have self revives and just in case you guys do go down that's why i said just have a few self revives now drop a like on this video if it helped you guys in any way let's try to get 315 likes and make sure you guys titty smack that subscribe button uh, because that would mean the world to me and we're also on the road to 150,000 subscribers and that would up a ton share this video with all your friends and family join the discord down below the one that says bubs discord if you guys ever need help with anything with these kind of tutorials glitches or anything at all and follow me on ig and twitter those links will also be down below this has been your boy bubs and i'm out peace